And I remember watching the battle, all right? And mm -hmm. the first thing I thought about was, why are there so many people in the room? It was like a basketball team worth of people in the room. You had a dude dancing. You had a, the people in the band. Why did you do that? What was the reason behind it? I know, but I'm going to let you tell them, and then I'm going to tell you why I think you did it. You know, I don't believe in just giving people a battle. I believe in giving people more. They deserve it. We're in the COVID right now. And just like I gave the concert, you all clicked on, it was perfect. Why? Because it was from my side. Technically, Instagram cannot handle the weight that I bring. They can handle the weight that, that Babyface brings because he just got a guitar. Right. But me, I come with an arsenal and I come with something that's going to give people more. So if it would have worked, had Babyface side with the interface, didn't call, it caused the uh the feedback which was told to me by instagram and also cnn which is why cnn and everybody's story turned around when they found out technically it wasn't teddy Riley's fault and if if that would have came out perfect teddy would have been like teddy's a genius right but the, but the dude teddy, dancing teddy, but the teddy dude did, he did more than like what i did at essence festival we sold out yeah. superdome eighty five thousand seats and I gave people more. I gave them well, more because they deserve more. So okay, hold on, let me, stop. Let, me, let me stop you. Let me stop sure. you real quick. People, if you don't understand, first of all, if you just tuned in, we're talking to Teddy Riley. Every night, 7 p.m., I have a celebrity guest, news, opinion, advice, more. You can, you can, after Ted gets off, you can check out the rest of what I do. We are from Harlem. We always going to do extra and show out. It's just in our DNA. We here yeah. to compete. So we going to compete. We going to compete the whole way. The only thing that I thought was wrong is that there were no rules of engagement because if that was the case maybe Babyface would have known to come with his band. And as well as the fact that I always felt that Babyface versus Teddy Riley was it, it was two different genres. It's like Fat Man Scoop battling Casey and JoJo. It, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. But the only thing I didn't understand was like 300 people in the studio. I was like, yo, Ted, what you doing? When, well, when... It, 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 it was that many because we had we had it set up and they were, they were actually scheduled to leave because we had kept it in there. So mm -hmm. what I wanted to do, my whole thought was, let's take it upstairs like where I'm at right now. This is where I did the battle right here right. in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. So this is my bedroom studio. It's like my man cave. And I said, you know what? I should have done it in the bedroom first and said, all right, y'all, follow me downstairs. I'm going to give a jam for y'all. Another right. 20 songs or another right. 50 songs. Because right. that's what I, I thought was. And, and, and uh, it didn't turn out that way. But just so people know, I was just being sincere on giving more. Because, look, we, we're in a place where, you know, we stuck. For a minute, mm -hmm. we, we, we ain't gonna be in no doggone venue for a long time, y'all. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do something that's gonna keep people going, keep it, keep people happy. That they've been used to doing, going to concerts. They used to going to see their favorite artists. So I I wanted to give them that. So I'm gonna do that, yo. Know, I got soon as that happened, not just the means, you know, just made it even more famous, mm -hmm. but companies came to me and like, listen, we want to partner with you. We seen what you was trying to do and we want to help you do that. Mm -hmm. So iHeart came into, into place and, and they were like, listen, Teddy, we want to do this with you. We want to do this with you and Key Sweat. Let's keep it. But I was like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do it unless we can keep it free. I don't want to do it unless we can keep it free for the people. So if y'all talking about charging them, I'm not doing that because I don't want people looking at me because, you know, I've been doing it for so long. I've been doing it for so long, and I really feel like in this instinct, the people deserve everything right now. Just click the doggone thing and okay. watch something so, amazing. So like right first... now, we missing, we're missing Tory Lanez doing a concert. So we're going we to get to Tory Lanez because we're going to get out of here. I'm going to tell you this. When I heard when it happened that first night, and it was so many things, so many technical difficulties, and the memes came out. The first thing I did was call you the next morning. I texted you. I said, Ted, 
listen, bro. Yeah, I know. I got you. I got you. Text. I was like, yo, here's the the people from IK Audio and people. If you don't know about IK Audio, they have just they call it's called the iRig Stream, and basically, it's so that you can have the microphone and all your music together. And I was trying to get them on the phone with you, but I knew you were nah, you were just I'm getting in, barraged I'm with in. people and stuff, so you weren't you weren't going to do it. But I said the next time Ted is going to change it up and it's going to be different. When you oh, saw yes. the memes, you know me. when, you saw the memes doctor, right? when you, when you, you saw the memes, when you saw the memes, when you saw the memes, what what did you feel about that? Did you feel hurt? Did you feel embarrassed? Or did you just say, you know, it's part of the game and you just you shake it off and keep it moving? I always say, listen, I used to always say, and be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Mm -hmm. So my whole thing was, I've never been roasted. I've never been invited to a roast. When Andre Harrell got roasted, or or my friend, my my big brother, Flavor Flav, that was the fa my favorite roast. You know, when I seen it, I was like, "Dang, why can't something like that happen for me?" And there it is. It happened. I got roasted by the memes, and it was something that I wanted. I asked for it, and I got it. And I I rolled with it. You can't beat the memes. You gotta go with it. Just like Michael just say, jam with them them fools. You know what I'm saying? Roll with it, go with it, jam. And that's what I did. I jammed with them. I sent some out. My favorite was La La and um 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 Spice Adams. Yeah. Those are my and favorite. I... And if I get a chance to work with them because I'm doing something really special that's gonna be dope for everybody. You know, while we in this COVID, I have a series of concerts coming. iHeart, thank you for getting behind us. And IG, thank you so much for getting behind us. I have some funny stuff coming, and I'm doing it with some of my meme friends. Batman Scoop!